For seven not so prosperous years, I have safely used one truly wonderful mouse. No, that isn't it. I have a different role for this one today. This is X7 from A for Tech. Five years of which were really great. The mouse worked fine, but the last two years of use she laid the foundation for my disgust with my significantly inferior in quality and reliability compared to it. For the last two years, the mouse was diagnosed with a double click. For those who are not well versed in medical terms, let me explain you the symptom of this disease. When you press the left button once, there are two clicks. Moments the owner of such mouse quickly develops mental problems. Of course, it's hard to find a regularity here, but personally I still have reflexes, the main manifestation of which was forgetting that to open a file you need two clicks, because the mouse has acquired the skill to open a file with a single click. Yes, there were some pluses sometimes, and in spite of such a controversial point, it's still not bad mouse came out. It's kind of in 2009 already technically outdated. Outdated for now, of course, but I still think that at its time it was the best value for money, and after two years of continuous double clicking, I finally got tired of everything and rushed to the store for a new X7 full of motivation. Exactly the same, but the price of this model has gone up. I've changed my mind about budget mice, and this is what I get. We will get these two beauties, but a little later. Now I will tell you what happens when you start to save on peripherals. On the left side is my X7, which worked for 5 years and on the right side is all the new mice I bought during the 3 years after the X7 broke. Virtuously, as ninja, I've been like jumping from bottle to bottle, from mouse to mouse for 3 years. The first mouse I bought after X7, to be honest, I don't remember its name, but most likely it had already turned into oil and worked for a half year. After which, the same problem, double click. Then I bought one for like 10 bucks. And how do you think how long it worked? Exactly, one year. The warranty expired and it immediately turned into a tool for losing in a psyche. Desperate, I started using a wireless mouse called Havid, and in three weeks its battery died. In a fit of rage, I rushed to the store, approaching the display case with mice. Immediately, the consultant jumped up to me, and without waiting for what he told me, I told him, Listen, dear, I have an emergency problem. I have sudden need for a computer mouse. Well, I hope you will tell me that in your wonderful store are options for gaming mice that would last a lifetime and even my grandchildren can continue to use it. We have a top-of-the-line gaming mouse. Look what a work of art. Listen, friend, buddy, let's see some more expensive options. Can I connect it to your laptop for a grip test? Of course, I'd be more than happy to hook it up for a laptop for you. Anyway, there was the still serious rival 110 mouse. It wasn't the only one I tested, of course, bloody mice, rising mice, you know, that one with the green dragons on the logo. But none of them were as good for me like this one. Without thinking for a long time, I chose this mouse. As soon as I plugged it into my computer, I was offered to install Macrosus. It's amazing. What progress has come? You bought mouse and it comes with a virus your brands in the offer to install, not without your consent. Now I will be killing everyone in CS 1.6 with only headshots. That's all well and good, but look at my wonderful mat. It's as old as my X7. As nice as it is, it's still time for it to move into a doghouse. To do this, I need a spatula, since there are is just a little bit fused to the table and is practically one piece. I had to perform a simple surgical procedure to separate it. After the surgery, there are some small scars and neoplasms left, which I could use this tool to reconstruct and correct defects. As an experienced surgeon, I removed the cosmetic defect millimeter by millimeter, centimeter by centimeter. Well, it turned out pretty good, perfect, I would say. The new carpet, of course, isn't the same quality as the previous was, but in principle it will do. Now let's calculate how much money I wasted during all this time. First mouse, 10 bucks. Second mouse, 9. Third mouse, 10. The fourth is all 45. Of course, there was a discount and it cost me not 45, but a little cheaper. I ended up spending 80 bucks in less than 3 years. Now you can see, we are stinginess leads. Or stupidity, wanting to save money, I ended up spending even more. Turns out that double-click on mice can be fixed. 
When I was gathering all information for this video, I watched a couple or three of these videos and I immediately wanted to repeat the success of these comrades who managed to eradicate the double click problems. I immediately grabbed my X7, it wasn't too difficult to take it apart, I can already assemble them faster than a soldier can assemble a Kalashnikov. Thankfully, there is something to practice. When I opened the X7 mouse, it turned out that the micro switches here are one nor. To disassemble the micro switches themselves, I simply pinched one side with a knife, and the rest is the matter of dexterity. But fortunately, further fragments of the video were lost, as the recording was done on the memory card and it's, you know, mischievous, loves to joke. The files on it are now broken, then disappear in some weird way. And what happened next with this mouse, I can't show you. But no matter, I will take apart the second Chinese mouse with the same problem. Is this a spare wheel? The sensor here is A63P. It doesn't say anything to you now, but later you will understand why am I showing it. It turns out that it too has one no micro switches, just like X7. But why is that that one mouse had worked for 5 years while the other worked for only one? To be honest, I have no idea. Maybe the Chinese mouse has fake micro switches. Remove the springs. Yes, this kind of spring, at least it performs its function, and this is how it works. So I took off the spring from the X7 and put it next to the Chinese mouse micro switches spring. The only difference was the color, X7 had more copper color plate, so I decided to straighten the spring. Here is what happened, I could notice a noticeable improvement of Chinese mouse for the better, clicking became louder and harder, and the most important, double click disappeared. The same cannot be said about X7, after manipulating the spring, it is no longer springly at all, and when you click on the left mouse it clicks but the spring doesn't come back. It has to be reset manually every time, pulling the bottom up with my fingers. But I didn't stop here. After the fail at X7 Soji, I decided that it's a genius idea to transplant this micro switcher from another properly working mouse. Not a willing donor would be the same Chinese mouse and not voluntarily for the experiment they gave us its side button and with the donor spring. X7 click became louder, more audible and the most important, the diseased named double click literally disappeared. Yes, the way with transplantation of the spring is not the very practical, but for many people it will be much more easier than to resolder the micro switcher. And now I will acquaint you with Chinese my stuffing. The first one has lots of names. I quickly disassembled it and found out that the sensor here is 601BS. And micro switches seems to be no name. And the second also has lots of names. It has 15,000 sales on AliExpress. I disassembled it too and I found out that the sensor is A611P. Just like in the previous mouse, the micro switches are of a known origin. Now we will show you how the behavior of all mouse differs when they abruptly pulled to the side. In Windows, the mouse speed is centered. Increase the accuracy is turned off. This is important if you test your mouse. This checkbox should be definitely unchecked. On the mice, set the lowest value of DPI. Open Paint. Now I run mouse pointer over the mouse pad from the beginning to the end, so I can understand how far the pointer travels across the screen, and the next run on the mat is done as quickly as possible, to deliberately disrupt the sensor of the mouse. And I will start with the ancient X7, and at the first sharp moment we see the disruption, the second, third, fourth pass without any problems. That was right until the tenth pass, and on the eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth pass the sensor disrupted again. The nature of the failures is such that they occur when the mouse is stopped abruptly. There is no failure on the move. The still series was the next one to be tested. The DPI was set to 800, just like a previous time I've done one slow sweep, all other maximum sharp. And no matter how hard I tried to disrupt the sensor, I failed. I don't know how fast cyber athletes jerk the mouse in real life, but I've never jerked the mouse that way in games, and I've never set the DPI lower than 1000. Also, I heard that there are some cyber athletes that play at 200 DPI, I imagine how they work with their hand. Then I took my 10 box greenware mouse, that is the first time I said its name. The first move was like I used a ruler, the rest is something else. Every sharp movement of the mouse tries to draw an occult sign or trying to call for help. 
Next up is a mouse from AliExpress, which has lots of names, but the stuffing goes same in all of them. The first to run on the mat was surprisingly easy, but next sharp movements are reminiscent of evil demon possession. For every more or less abrupt movement, the mouse pointer flies off in search of an icy gem, but that's not the worst behavior of the mouse. The next best thing is the last mouse called I My Sex 7 which performed the best. After all, when I lead it to the right, it goes to the left. And this, some people call a gaming device. Well, would have written right away, office mouse with a gamer's skin. Well, I suppose you can already see the degree of slovenliness cheap mice from AliExpress equipped with the miserable sensors. The favorite, judging by scribbles and paint, is still serious. It hadn't sensor failures, but the picture is more or less digestible. What cannot be said about other options, because they disrupted almost every sharp movement. Now I decided to test two winners in real combat conditions. I hope it will be possible to see how the sensor of X7 disrupts, as I hadn't recorded any movements of my hand on the mat on the video. Here are the mouse sensitivity settings, it's 1.5. DPI on the X7 is 800, on the still series I decided to set it even lower, 400. Although, I don't know how people play at such a low DPI. It's so fucking annoying to wave your hand while playing a game. To cut a long story short, X7 crushes quite often at these settings, while Steel Series even with 400 DPI works perfectly. As a result, I'm left with three crappy mouse, two of which are now going to double click in Valhalla. And this is the tool of the Inquisition. In my opinion, this is the best of the worst thing that could happen to these two mice, because no one will make millions of click on them, and accordingly, they will not suffer for, for a long time. But if you still have money to buy some shit from AliExpress, don't take the cheapest. Take something more expensive, for example, Deluxe M625. It's kind of copy of a normal mouse, the quality of plastic probably sucks, but at least it has a normal sensor, which will not be disrupted as easily. There will be links to the junk I involved in my video, I've leave a link in the description under the video, read at least the reviews of satisfied customers who bought this reliable as a Swiss watch mice. There are a lot of philosophical thoughts about choosing mice, like mouse is not the main thing, the main thing is a skill, partly true, I really believe it, and someone once heard and someone said that someone who played shitty on a bad mouse also shitty will play using an expensive one, and someone who played well on a bad mouse will play even better using an expensive one. But to tell you the truth, I haven't such a problems because in game I am not aiming at the enemies. The enemies themselves are running after the cursor of my mouse, but sometimes, very rarely, but it happens, that the cursor itself without my knowledge aim it at the enemy's head. If you know why does this happen, please write in comments so you don't know how to solve this problem. Press like button, subscribe to this channel and comment this video. Bye!